This is part two of the Toontown rewritten uh, gameplay, and I'm about to log in and show you how to play after you set up the game. I hit the launcher, entered my username and password. As you can see, it's going through the update, updating files. It usually goes through that pretty quick. Uh, but let's see here how long that takes because this has all been done already on this computer okay it's at 26 percent or 30 of 31 files updated let's see if it launches the game all right it gave me a message that said have fun so I assume that the game should be launching at any second now okay after you log into the launcher you come up to this screen and you click this button to make a tune then that'll bring you to this screen that lets you choose boy or girl so go through this process to make the tune that you want to play the game with okay after you choose boy or girl you choose your species rabbit duck monkey bear pig dog cat horse mouse so I like the dog so I'm gonna go with the dog then you change the head the body and the legs now that I have my dog the way I want him I hit next and then I choose my colors okay once I have the color that I want I'm gonna go ahead and go to the next screen here and I maximize it to take up the whole screen so I can change my shirt and my shorts so uh, don't like the jailbird look let me go ahead and set my clothes up real quick alright now I got my color set up I'm gonna go next Choose my name. I'm going to type in a name. Alright, that's the name I had once upon a time. I'm done. Continue to submission. Submitting my name. Alright, now it should take me into the game and I can start playing. Okay, the game has gotten to the loading position. And I guess it's getting ready to launch the tutorial. I don't know if it'll be different from the original one or not. But once it gives me the options to, I'm going to go ahead and change the settings and make this a full screen. Right now, it's in a window. I have the window maximized. I could make the window a certain size or I could maximize it. So... I'm going to go ahead and do this. Let me go through this tutorial. Right now there's a glitch where it's causing the uh, screen not to show the full bubbles. So, okay. I got the full statement down here even though I can't see the whole thing up there. So I'm going to go ahead and go through these and start to play the game. Okay, I went and completed my first task. I went in the HQ building. Now it gave me my book that allows me to change settings and stuff on the game. So I'll go through these. And it's going to have me walk through that and see the different things that the book has to offer. It's giving me instructions and walking me through this, so you go through it yourself. Okay, now it's telling me how to communicate with other tunes. And it's teaching me how to use the spring, the speed chat. So now I'm going to go ahead and uh, enter into the playground area. All right. And now it's letting me do the uh, speed chat. All right. Now it'll let me go into the playground. Once in the playground area, you can do things like fish, ride to Charlie, 
uh, buy more weapons or gags, they, they're called, and do things to build up your laugh points, like eat little uh, flowers or whatever, and then you can meet other tombs anywhere in the game. Now, my, the name I submitted hasn't been approved, so it's just calling me Brown Dog. And once I enter into different areas of the game, those areas will light up on my map of the game. And then once I uh, earn the ability to transport into those areas, I can transport into those areas and travel around the game faster. So this is what the playground looks like. Now there's a couple of quick link buttons. If you hit the end, it'll tell you the tune task that you're working on. You can hit your up, page up, page down, tab will change your view. Uh, control makes you jump. Oh. didn't seem to do anything home let you see the, the gags or weapons you have and one of these opens the book so I'm going to open the book and go to my settings and I'm going to turn off my music turn on my sound effects they're already on I'm going to turn leave my accepting friends on and I'm going to uh change my display to full screen so that I know it fits right and nothing is going to be knocked out of my full screen settings. So now the screen will take up my entire computer screen and I won't have my taskbar. My antivirus didn't like me uh, changing my screen setting so something happened and I logged out of the game but I'm going to choose my tune and go right back in so if you got the AVG antivirus it may require you to allow the game to control certain settings of the display so once I get back in I'm gonna turn that music back off I'm gonna ride to Charlie so I can earn jelly beans so I can buy my gags and go enter into different battles and things with the cogs and join other tunes and doing the same I had a problem with selecting uh, some instructions on the screen from one of the characters in the game. So I'm going to exit my options from the full screen to a window function. Hopefully that will make it work better. I had to crash the game and re-log in. Okay, I finally finished my second task, which was Ride to Charlie and buy gags so I'm entering back to the playground next uh, my uh, strategy is to go through all of the areas to open up my mapping so I can follow friends to the different areas in Toontown so as soon as it uh, reloads me in the playground I'm going to run through every area of the map to the different playgrounds the game is giving me instructions to head back to headquarters, so I'll go there first so that I don't get too far behind on what they're trying to make me do so they don't try to make me uh, back up and do something over. I went through the process, so it's telling me that I have to recover a blackboard eraser from the COGS. So it wants me to go fight COGS in Toontown Central, but I'm going to run through all the playgrounds first, come back to Toontown Central, and fight COGS until I get that blackboard eraser. Right now the game is, and possibly my computer hard drive is going out, but the game seems to be having some issues with going through transitions. But now that I'm back in the playground, I can enter that way to go to Loopy Lane from Toontown Central. That will take me to 
Millie's Melody Land, and you can see the little sign there telling me where I would go if I went that direction. Minnie's Melody Land. I could go that way to go to Donald's Dock, and those are probably the only two other playgrounds I could enter from Toontown Central. So I'm going to go ahead and go down this street and go to Donald's Dock. Okay, so when I open up my book, I only have one area open on my map, which is Toontown Central. So I'm going to open as much of this clouded area as possible. That's my first goal and strategy in playing the game. Now, as I run down these streets, I have to be careful that I don't run into any cogs that my gags and laugh points are not big enough for me to defeat unless I have help. So I'm going to be real careful not to run into any of these uh, cogs while I'm running down these streets. Now this is how a building looks that has been taken over by the cogs. That's a four-story building. You got to have a pretty strong laugh uh, to enter into a building that's over two stories. So I'm going to stay away from anything like that. And this is taking me into the Donald Dock area. And once I'm in that area, I can open up my book and teleport to the playground and then head over to the next uh, playground area, which I believe for me is going to be uh, the burr. Now that I'm on the street in the Donald Dock area, I can open up my book and go to the playground and it should take me right to the Donald's Dock playground. Now each of these different playground areas have cogs in them that are more and more powerful so you gotta be careful not to uh, enter into an area that's too big for your britches and, and for me that would be like right now so I'm going to make sure I don't get into any battles with any of these cogs unless there are some real powerful tunes with me. So now I'm headed toward the snowy area of the burr. Now while you're running down the street, as long as you stay on the sidewalk, you don't have to worry about getting into a battle or a fight per se with these cogs that are walking around the street. You pretty much avoid them as long as you're on the sidewalk so I'm gonna try to stay out of the street so I don't get into any of those battles and I'm gonna run over here until I get into the burr area which uh, once I make friends if my friends are in these other playground areas I can travel directly to them by clicking go to my friend so that's why I'm entering into these different playground areas you have Millie's, Melody Land, Toontown Central, The Burr, Donald's Dock, and Donald's Dreamland or something like that. So as soon as I get into The Burr, I'm going to teleport to that playground and then find the next playground area that I haven't traveled to yet. Now this is the playground in The Burr, and I, I should have a fishing rod that I can go fishing with. Fishing costs you jelly beans, but at the same time, uh, you can you can catch fish and win back jelly beans when you turn them into the fisherman's area. So I just caught a 13 jelly bean new species clownfish, and I'll click on my bingo card because they're playing bingo fishing right now. So that's how you do the fishing. So now I've entered into the doorway to go down the street and go towards uh, Daisy's Garden, I believe, or Millie's Melody Land, one or the other. I'll see here in a second. And the, each of these streets have names, so you might get tune tasks that will send you to these streets to complete certain tasks. Right now with the game in beta and on the trial error, I only have a few minutes left to play. So, we'll see 
Looks like I'm headed towards Millie's Melody Land since it has a keyboard on the uh, street sign. Some of these streets, when you're going down them, they have little alleys you can cut through and take a little shortcut. And some of those shortcuts will help you get to areas a little quicker. But you have to poke around or find a map online somewhere to show you where those shortcuts are and where they lead to. Transitions are a little slow, but now you can see that my map is opening up and I need to open up a few more uh, areas here. So let me see which will be the next one I'll try to uh, go to. I already got the burr. There's Donald's Dreamland there. And then there's Toontown Central. So I'm going to go to Donald's Dreamland next. So I run down there. I go and get on this street called uh, Tenor Terrace. And that should lead me to Dreamland. I have four minutes left on this trial version of the game. So hopefully I'll make it there before my time runs out. Okay, I have less than a minute in the game. It looks like I'm going to enter into Donald's Dreamland before it kicks me out. I got into a battle trying to help a tune, but he wasn't interested in the help and told me to run away. So I did. So let's see if I can see this street on Donald's Dreamland before it kicks me out. All right, I made it to Donald's Dreamland. I'm gonna try to go to the playground. And now more of my map is opened up. And I'll see what's the next area. I think the only area I haven't gone to is Daisy's Garden, as far as your standard playground areas. After you play the game for a little while and specifically complete different tune tasks, you'll earn the ability to do certain features, one of which is to teleport to these different playground areas it's going ahead and kick me out of the game so uh until next time i'm gonna get back in line to play again well that's all for now i hope you or someone that you know has an opportunity to enjoy toontown rewritten